Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game where today it is the penultimate round of our 2018 championship here in the 450 and 250 West categories. Salt Lake City is the destination, Rice Eccles Stadium is the location, also the home of the Utah, or University of Utah I should say. We are in the lead of the 450 category and hope to try and extend that lead today. Uh, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this 250 West Heat Race number 2, where we have just managed to qualify on the pole once again in that category. Alrighty, here we are. Second heat race of the night for the 250 West category. That's right, we're back in the West division of the 250 Championship here in Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game. And once again, we have put it on the pole, this time by four and a half seconds. So I guess you could say it was quite a demol uh, demolishing that we gave the rest of the field. Now, once again, I'm not going to start right on that inside gate because I do want to have a nice smooth run into turn one. I don't want to have to check up and go behind someone or right hand down into someone in, in order to to, to uh, avoid those sort of like inside tough blocks there. But nonetheless, hopefully we should get a good start. we got Davalos, Martin, Faulkner and Macrath in our heat. So it is not going to be an easy one. But... We do seem to have a lot of pace here in the Salt Lake City Stadium. Here we go. Heat one. Come on. Oh, sorry, heat two, because we put it on the pole. Uh, a little bit behind on the reaction timing. Oh, a whole shot for the boys. Yeah, boy. Oh man, that was an intense turn one. Ah oh, shit, come on, get to the top of that tabletop. Ah, completely screwed that section up. I must admit, this track is by far, so far, one of my favourites. It's so nice the way the rhythm section sort of... You don't really have to adjust too much, you can just full throttle through them as long as you get the, the your sort of body weight right you can really just fly through them without having to make too many adjustments which is always really nice to have so it's nice and easy really fun really enjoying it so far oh, a bit short oh man a big leap on that jump there to finish off that rhythm section. Tabletop, tabletop. Uh, we've already got a pretty decent gap. Ten seconds already on one lap. There you go. Yeah, come on. Now, once again, this is on the hardest difficulty. I think it's called Realistic. I can't remember. I play so many different racing games and sports games that I always can never keep up with what difficulty I'm running on each on each game. Oh, big quad. Oh, damn, I thought we were going to make that. <laughs> I was not expecting to carry that much speed over there. Ah, oh, well, sorry, I've still got a massive lead. Definitely be able to quad that in the 450. Yeah, no, this this track, I really like this track. I really like the stadium. It is the home of the University of Utah in college football. Now, I have seen here and there that there is a college football game coming out, which I really can't wait for. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to be like, whether it's going to be anything like the old NCAA games that they had. I was really upset when they stopped making the college football games for the PlayStation and Xbox and whatnot. Oh, okay. Odd rhythm section, but we made it through. Alright, one minute left on the clock. Massively 20 seconds over Faulkner right now. Uh, 
I don't know, the, the AI is seriously underpowered in this game. It's, it's funny, the first round we did at Arlington in Texas, I really struggled to get in the top five, but ever since then, when, when they came out with a couple of updates, I just it's been ridiculously easy. It's almost like it went in the complete opposite direction. Really need to tidy that section up. I mean, that's perfect right there. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. moment there. Come on. Big quad, are we going to make it? No. I so badly want to make that work, but I just can't do it. can't quite pick up enough speed. Oh my god, we're already lapping bikes far around. AI I start around here. Ah shit. Come on short there. And there. And there. <laughs> yeah, so once again I must reiterate this is the hardest difficulty that the game can that you can set on this game. I couldn't imagine what the easier difficulties would be like. Yeah no, this is just crazy easy. Someone just died right next to me. <laughs> Come on. It's buggy. Oh, pace. Relentless. I like it. Big triple. Oh, no, wait. We're finished. <laughs> I was fo so focused on the lap bikes that I didn't focus on what lap I was on. Alrighty. Another big win. 37 seconds. Let's take a quick look at the results and the names of the four riders who will be moving on to the main event. Alrighty, so easy as she does it, we'll now move on to the 450 Heat 2. Where hopefully we can have similar place as what we've had in this heat race. It's time now for the final 450 Heat race. Four more riders will transfer out of this heat straight to the main event. You want to get one of those highly coveted transfer spots locked in now, so you don't have to race your way through the semi. Righty, here we go, Heat 2 in the 450 category. We did manage to qualify on the pole once again, although it was only by two tenths over Ryan Dungey, Ken Roxon in third, three tenths behind. So this is going to be a lot closer than what it was in the 250 West category. Just got to try and get the whole shot and get away from the field so we don't get caught up in some of the mess that you'll see in the middle of the field. So we've got Roxon, Muskan, Baggett, Wilson, Millsaps, Brayton, Barsha in this heat. So definitely have to focus forward. Alrighty, here we go. Heat race for the 450 category at Salt Lake. Let's get this thing up and running. Wow, people everywhere. 
Oh my god, keep getting loose through there. Ah oh shit, get back on the track. And keeps kicking out, I think I've gone once again a little bit too loose with this setup. There we go. Clutch a bit. Oh my god, I can't see which way I'm leaning on this view. In real life you can feel the bike underneath you. Too. Wow, that's quicker than what we set in qualifying. That was a quick lap. Even though we didn't make the quad, we still sort of skipped over those jumps and made it through all right. So, big win there. Not by too much, not as much pace as what we had last week, but it was race. a really good the run. The first four riders will have the opportunity to move on directly to the main event, while the rest of the field will be back on the track soon, battling it out in the semi. So ourselves, Muskan, Baggett, and I'm going to say that's Porcel. 
excuse my lack of knowledge when it comes to a Monster Energy Supercross. I'm still sort of new to the series. I mean, I've been watching it for the last five years, but it's hard to stay on top of all the riders and stuff when you're based in Australia. But um, Roxon, unfortunately, will have to go through the semi along with Barsha, Brayton, and Millsaps dropping all the way down to 13th. So interesting run, interesting race there. All right, on to the 250 main event. The best Supercross racers in the world have loaded into the gate here at Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake City, where the high altitude and high intensity is always the story of this round of Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. The RPMs are coming up. It's gate drop time in Utah. Alrighty, here we go. 250 West main event time. We are on the pole. That will definitely get these riders pumped up. Time to smash in. Wait for the gate drop. <laughs> Alright, going with, going with the same gate that we've been in all night. Seems to have worked right so far. The riders are Alrighty, here up. we go. The gate is about to drop. Who will get the whole shot? Oh no, what the... Okay, that was really weird. Totally did not even shift in the first... Oh, oh my god. Come on, frame rate. Oh my god, we're going to go from last to first on the freaking first rhythm section. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, it was weird. It's almost like my controller just didn't press the button even though I pressed it. I don't know, that was... Anyway, back up into second, so no harm done. Got Jimmy Dakotas. I don't think I've ever heard that name before. I do follow the Supercross the best I can, but unfortunately, living in England, you know, there's not too much coverage of it here. There was quite a bit in Australia. We actually had it live every Sunday morning, but I don't know. UK seems to not really give a shit about it, which is a bit sad. But I mean, it is on, but it's on like a non-HD off-air channel in like two in the morning, so we can never watch it. Unless I just haven't found what channel it's on yet. Anyway, we have the lead. Oh, came up short on that big quad again. I need to sort that out. Oh, I love this section. It's just so easy in the 250. Just flat right stick down, flat right stick down. Triple after triple, it's just beautiful. Sucks, I really felt I timed that start to perfection, obviously not. This one, I think I over loosened the bike a bit. Oh my god, freaking tough block. That's right, then I'm done. Let's see what lap times we can do. Best in qualifying was a 49.2, so we'll see if we can beat that here. Come on, turn. Nice. Finally got that section right. I think it's the first time all night that I've actually got that section right. Oh, then I almost ah, screw up the section that I have been getting right all night long. 49.6. that section. So important to get that triple.
Oh god, I didn't even have to... Come on. I didn't even have to hold my weight back then to make that, almost make that chord. Let's see if I can do it on the next lap. Mind you, I think we're going to be in traffic here in a sec, so I'll have to back it off a little bit. 48.6. Wow, that's all on the mail. Turn. Ah, I can't get this thing to turn. Make that quad. Ah, can't quite get the run off the last corner. Oh, wow, you are a wanker. Being wrecked by a lap guy. Move. Still got four and a half minutes. We can lap the whole field here in a second. If we stop getting taken out, that is. Yeah, have some of that. Eat my rear tire, bitch. Oh! died. Instant karma. <laughs> Thread the needle. Come on it. Oh. Right, now we're... Oh, okay, maybe not. Die. Ah, shit. God damn. These guys are so slow. Ah, oh, come on, Joseph. Oh. Poor suspension on this bike. him to Las Vegas. He went flying through those tough blocks. Sorry. Ah, fucking hell. Get back on the track. That's Faulkner there in the yellow. Ah, shit. Oh my god. I got like hooked onto his rear tire and could not get off him. Oh, make it nice. Alright, so it's 
just over a minute to go until we've got another win in the 250 category, this time being the 250 West, of course. We usually run the 250 East. And this week's another one off. Come on. Boom. Space, oh my god. Ah, shit. Oh my god, come on, Joseph. Back on the track. No. On the track. No. Yes. Well, we've almost lapped the whole field. Unfortunately, I, I don't quite know what McElrath and Dublos look like as if we haven't spent too much time in this. I think this is McElrath up here. Maybe this is Dublos. No, it can't be. I don't know. We just we haven't done too many races this year. There it is, a huge win. Smashed it. I think we lapped almost everyone except for one. That was an incredible race. Proving yeah, we did. That was Davlos that we lapped on the, the final lap. Wow. Is. Let's take a look at the final results. So Makarath to come in second. We lapped Davlos on that final lap and well, lapped everyone except for second. That's that was a uh, well, a rather convincing win, I must say. Far out. Man, that was awesome. Those three rode the wheels off their machine. We have a tremendous championship fight brewing. Well, there it is, lads. Time to move on to the 450 main event for tonight. Here we go. This one should be fun. Supercross racers in the world have loaded into the gate here at Rice Echo Stadium in Salt Lake City, where the high altitude and high intensity is always the story of this round of Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. The RPMs are coming up. It's gate drop time in Utah. The crowd is into it tonight. That will definitely get these riders pumped up as they wait for the gate drop. Alrighty, main event time. Gonna start out of that fourth gate like we have all day. Now we're not quite well. We're not gonna quite have anywhere near as much pace as what we did have in the 250 West. So it's gonna be us versus Dungey, dependent on how the sort of whole shot goes. Now the first lap goes really in general. Alrighty, here we go. Main event time for the 450 here at Salt Lake City. Get ready. Time to put the end to the middle. Well, I can't really say that in this <laughs> sport. Stuff now. Right, 
Chad, Chad Reed in the lead. Wow. Wish that was the case in real life. Where Dungey's gone, but he's not in the top five, that's for sure. Trying to make a block pass. Oh, no shit.
seconds to go. Ten second lead now, Roxanne's back to second. Still is that I haven't no done not got Dunji in the top ten there, that's why I was a bit shocked there. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, I was expecting to see him in this final for sure. Oh, I'll make that quad. Oh, damn. If there was a time I was going to make it with speed and the right weight transfer, I thought it was going to be that time, obviously not.
Alright, so this should put us in a really good position going into the final round at Las Vegas next what week. What a tremendous 450 main event. There are the final results after a hard-fought battle for the victory. Fantastic effort by these riders. They put on a great show the way they battled here tonight. All right, so we have 20 points in hand going into the final round. So Ryan Dungey's poor performance today basically means that we all we have to do is finish, basically finish in the points next week, and we've won the round, providing Dungey doesn't win and we finish outside the top, you know, 15 or so. So yeah. Wow. Rocks in third. Or Rocks in third. Muscan fourth. Sealy fifth. Jason Anderson, the real world leader in real life, well, was at some point, I'm not sure if he still is, I've sort of fell out of touch with what's going on, he's down in 8th. Cooper Webb, who was leading the championship at the start of the year, has dropped all the way down to 10th. So yeah, awesome race, awesome win. Another win on the season to put us in a really good position going into the final round at Las Vegas next week. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for plenty more on the channel over the weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed today's race on Monster Energy Supercross. And until next time, I will catch you guys later.